Hello and welcome to the first episode of Slash Aussie VTech. In this video, we're going to learn how to make your own VPN on macOS in just a few easy steps. In order to implement a VPN service, first of all, we need to buy a VPS or virtual private server. There are many well-known companies such as Vulture, which you can see its website in here, DigitalOcean, Hetzner, and so on, which offer these services. The price is usually around $7 a month, but in this video, we're going to use Aiza.net. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. It's a Russian hosting service, which is very cheap and has good support. If you choose to buy promo package from Stockfall, then you pay as low as 1.5 bucks a month. I've put the link of AISA website in the descriptions of this video, which you can use to get 15% bonus. After buying the VPS, the information regarding your server would be sent to you via email. You can copy the info into a text file in order to have easy access to it. This information is consisted of an IP address, which you can see in here, a username, which is usually root, and a password. All you need to do is to replace the IP and port number in this line of code. Do you see this line of code? All you need to do is to change the IP address with your own and you can even leave this port number as it is, 2040. After changing the IP address, you just copy this line of code, copy, then go to terminal and paste this line of code and hit enter. After some time, it's going to ask you for password. We go back to the text file, we copy the password and come to the terminal, press paste, and now our connection is established. All we need to do is just go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, click details, go to proxies and enable SOX proxy. By enabling SOX proxy, you can see two lines in here. The first line is 127.0.0.1, which you don't need to change usually. The second one is the port number that was in the code. It was 2040, so we write it here and we click OK. And now everything is done and all your applications are connected to internet via VPN. If you want to disconnect this VPN, you should use the second line of code. You see it in here. And you just need uh, to change the IP address the same as before. You copy it, you go to terminal again, paste it. And as you see, the exit request is sent and all the things are done and you're disconnected from VPN. You can find these two lines of code in the description below as well. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments and I will try to help you as much as I can. Have a nice day.